Like, I, I can't deal with stupid. I don't deal with stupid. Well, that sets the tone, doesn't it? So, we've got a flat earther who's absolutely convinced that he's found a fatal flaw in the globe model. But judging by that, um... Well, whatever that was, does he even understand how Earth's tilt actually works? Or how anything works? Let's find out. Shut up and sit down, you big bald f***. Subscribe. Like, I, I can't deal with stupid. I don't deal with stupid. Well, you may not deal with stupid, Mikey, but you certainly dish it out. Now, keep in mind that he's currently trying to sue the Canadian Space Agency for faking images of Earth. <laughs> I kid you not. Just check his channel. <laughs> I know. When I walk closer to the fire, I'm still cool. When I walk away from the fire, I get burning hot for some reason. It's the opposite, but it still works. Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's fine, because neither do you. <laughs> but only one of us thinks the Earth is flat, so uh, what you're saying then, Mikey, is that your observation defies reality, so reality must be wrong. Not real, but it still works, is the glue holding every flat Earth explanation together, isn't it? Ice never melts when it gets hot. Are you kidding me? Ice never melts when it's warm outside? Ice never melts when it's warm outside. I mean, now we're getting really, really deep into the stupid, but that's a whole new level of reality denial, even for a flat earther. Now, here on planet Earth, that's precisely what ice does. Do you want to revisit kindergarten science and the concept of phase transitions, or is that too mainstream? Let's just talk, let's, we'll all just talk like we're mental just were stupid as f Oh, no, I'm not having that. That's very unfair, Mikey. You've had a lot more practice than we have. Well, ha, ha, ha. Uh, I've recorded the firmament. Good luck, man. I'm sorry, man. I do the work. You're never going to win with me. Yeah, probably not. As I just said, you're far more experienced than we are when it comes to being laughably wrong. But... That's a bold claim from someone who just told us that ice doesn't melt when it's warm. <laughs> I have documented via pictures and video now of the firmament, okay? And I'm just going to keep continue on doing that. Once the smoke clears out of this damn province, I will be recording more of the firmament. Thank you very much. It's not hard to record because it ain't far away. Hmm, if it's so close, I wonder why nobody with a telescope has ever actually documented this conveniently elusive celestial ceiling. Is it only visible to flat earthers? Or maybe nobody has seen it because it's nonsense. Remember, let's talk like the silly flat earthers out there. We'll go down south. <laughs> down south is that way. Up is that way, okay? There's only one up and one down. Oh yes, the profound wisdom of someone who hasn't quite grasped gravity or, you know, the fact that you can travel around a sphere. His down south perfectly explains why no flat earth had ever made it to Antarctica. Until, of course, they did, and we all know the damage that did to their childish little fantasy world. The 24-hour sun in Antarctica doesn't work on a flat earth. Sometimes you are wrong in life. And I thought that there was no 24-hour sun. In fact, I was pretty sure of it. Earth has a tilt. Its axis is tilted, yes. It's tilted, but then show them, tell me how the f***ing sun moves. Well, at least he acknowledged the tilt, but the sun's motion, well, that remains an F-bomb-worthy enigma. Now, Earth's tilt combined with its annual orbit around the sun naturally shifts where the sun's direct light hits us. That's why its apparent path changes, creating seasons. Mikey, this is simple astronomy, not rocket science. You need to explain to me how the sun goes from above my head to the southern horizon. You explain that to me without the Earth tilting or, or rotating, tilting, rotating, whatever the fuck it's doing. Well, without the tilt and the rotation of the Earth, the simple answer is it wouldn't. The daily movement across the sky, taking it from overhead to any horizon, is directly caused by Earth's constant rotation and its seasonal shift 
making it appear higher or lower throughout the year. It's due to a planet's axial tilt as it orbits the sun, trying to explain the cosmos while conveniently removing its fundamental mechanics is just... silly? And how you're on a tilt the world ride 24 hours a day. Okay, here we are. Remember, it's going from down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So you're going slower and faster, slower and faster. What the hell are you talking about? The Earth spins at a fairly consistent angular velocity, which means no constant slow and fast carnival ride for you. Any perceived up or down is the sun's apparent motion, thanks to our tilt and orbit. Not some bizarre planetary acceleration. It's called steady rotation, not a cosmic wobble. Now, I know you said this earlier in the video. I can't deal with stupid. Come on, Mikey, you're so good at it. Okay, so you got your sun out here, correct? Again, the southern horizon in the winter for here in North America. See Canada, where it snows. So it's got to be like this in the southern hemisphere. And in the summer, it comes to be above our heads. So how does it go from here to here without, does the sun jump up? move up itself or does it always stay in its stationary location that's not the sun's problem pal it's earth's tilt because the earth is consistently tilted at around 23.5 degrees as it orbits our angle to the sun changes throughout the year that's why the sun appears higher or lower the sun doesn't jump the earth moves it's called seasons not sun gymnastics what happens six months later in the winter? When the, and then in the summer, like right now. So now the sun's above my head. How did it go from here to here? Because of the Earth's axial tilt and elliptical orbit. Because Mikey, all you're saying is that you don't understand how seasons work. Therefore, Earth is flat. Really? That's a leap even Dick Fosbury would have been proud of. Seeing that the sun never goes to the southwestern part of the sky. Because remember, we're rotating around the sun, supposedly. Remember, this way? False. The sun absolutely passes through the southwestern sky in the afternoon for anyone in the northern hemisphere. This isn't a secret. It's the daily consequence of Earth's rotation. When your observations contradict basic reality, Mike, perhaps it's your own logic that's flawed. The sun goes to the northwestern part of the sky every single day of the year even when it's in the southern hemisphere. And pigs fly south for the winter reciting Shakespeare. To fly or not to fly? That is the question. The sun's path, including where it sets, varies significantly with your latitude and the season. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you'll see a very different path than the perpetual northwest you were talking about. Do you think we should let him know that in order to have a hemisphere on Earth, being a complete sphere is kind of required? It's just making a wider, bigger circle. This is why people think the sun is going to the southwest when it's not. Brilliant, Mikey. Now then, I've heard lots of other flat earthers make this same claim, but what none of them have ever explained, now think about it logically. For the sun to move outwards over a flat earth, it would be complete in a larger circle. So it would need more speed so that our 24 hour day stays the same as it is in reality. It's just making a bigger circle. So you stretch out that bigger circle and zoom in and it becomes a straight line. What causes the sun to uh, be able to accelerate like that, uh, Mikey, or any other flat earther? I would love to hear your explanation. And then a straight line appears to be going south. You've got to understand how shit works. That's why east and west is never a straight line. It's curved. But if it was a straight line, you would be going in the southern direction eventually. Southwest direction. East is west is never a straight line. It's curved. But if south was straight, or south. <laughs>
Now, on an actual globe, traveling due east or west means following a circle and heading consistently south takes you directly to the South Pole, not veering into the southwest. This isn't how shit works. It's how a flat map projection completely confuses someone trying to explain a spherical world with a flat mind. Just prove, just saying that I don't understand, you explain it to me now. Explain how your sun goes from here to above my head in the summer. You explain it to me. Go ahead, I'll, I'll read. Well, I've already explained it, but I'm feeling extra helpful today, Mikey. So especially for you, there's a paper linked in the description underneath this video for you to read and hopefully understand just how wrong you are. Here's your earth with your so-called built. Show me where the sun is right now in the summer in North America. Is it not up here? <laughs> and then it goes to the southern hemisphere in the winter. Well, that's it, Mikey. I'm convinced, convinced that you're too stupid to realize how stupid you sound in your videos. Creaky Blinder here again. You want to know how mental I am? Now, when we say things like how stupid can a flat earther be, we aren't really asking for proof. When the northern hemisphere is angled towards the sun as we orbit it, we get summer. And then six months later, when it's angled away, we get winter. And one more thing. If the dome is so close and so real, go there and film a video. That'll show us who's boss, won't it? Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all tomorrow night at 7 p.m. UK time for the Creaky Blinder Show live. But until then, I'm, uh, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll do something, I suppose. Yeah, you know. Love you, bye. Well, we're waiting. Do you remember the joke I told you last week about the problems I was having with my chiropractor? Yeah, you know, it was about a week back. <laughs> I don't think so. No, 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 I don't think so, no, 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 it's never, ever, 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 ever gone.